This is an ultrasonic sensor. I will teach you how you should wire that and how you can connect it to Tia Portal and S7-1200. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first of all, let's unbox it. Okay, we have two kind of a screw. And this is our sensor. Uh, it's made in Germany. About quality is 100 perfect. Okay, and there is a manual or data sheet. I will show it on computer. Okay, this is an ultrasonic sensor. One of the important things that you should know about that is this. We have a dead band. It's from 0 to 70 millimeter. And after that, 70 to 1000 millimeter. It's the band that you can work on that. Okay. And this is, this sensor sends wave. So you should notice that if you have an object and uh, for example, this is here, but the sensor will also see that, okay? There is no difference between being here or here, okay? So let's check out the data sheet of that. This is a purple and folks, and you can download the data sheet of that. Okay, let's check it. We have an analog output, 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere. This is a good news that when we have uh, uh, wire break, we will understand on PLC. And uh, it, have, it has three kind of working, uh, I think object mode, uh, uh, switch point mode, and the last one is window mode. And let's check the data sheet. Okay, the, uh, the sensing range in 70 to 1000 millimeter and adjustment range is from 90 to 1000. And that man, I told you it's, 0 to 70 millimeter. Okay, and we have an important key here, and it's uh, uh, sync, sync pin, and it's worked when we have, for example, two or three of uh, sensor, and they will be kind of synchronized together and understand what's going on. And the next thing is teaching point. It's uh, one program input. There's a white wire and we can teach what kind of mode I want to have on this sensor. And the last thing is output is 4 to 20 milliamp. And we have a wiring section. It's so easy, boys. Uh, we have a brown and we have a black, blue. The, the brown is goes to positive and the uh, blue is goes to negative. This is for power supply. Okay, that's it. We have a white, it's for teaching. We don't use it. We have a gray, it's for sync, I told you. And the important one is the black. It's black goes to analog input and the second terminal of analog inputs goes to the blue one. Okay, let's check it out on the whiteboard or I don't know this is a whiteboard or not I don't know. so this is that kind of picture that I show you okay power supply okay the brown and the blue we just add the wire to positive and negative that's it okay what's about analog input we have two kind of uh, wire for analog the black one that I know this is not the black, but okay, just uh, you accept it that is a black. Okay, we have a wire, it comes from the black one and it goes to analog input channel zero, the positive one. Okay, what about the second one? It goes to blue. As you can see, it comes from blue. That's it. So let's go on the PLC and check it out.